Okay, here we are. I've uh, I put a line on the end of the floor joist slash ceiling joist, depending on how you look at it. And then I pulled the old double top plate down off of there, made all those cuts. As you can see, I got myself a three and a half. I played to the outside of the line on either side a touch, so I probably have uh, three and three quarters, potentially four in some places. Uh, inches is ter in terms of how much of a, an opening I have here. That's because when I have a pair of uh, LVLs over my head on a ladder and I'm trying to set it up in there, I don't want to find that somebody's a little short and I'm crashing into it. And so then I can come back down the ladder and lay that down and set up some tool differently and come up and attempt to take a, a little hair's breath off of the, an end to make room and up, down, up, down, up, down trying to fit it. I want to just be certain that I have the room so I overdid it a little bit. And that'll be okay. Over here, uh, I'm not going to do vertical video, sorry. Uh, here's our existing plane of this wall. And it used to come out and it was a door jam here. So the plane of this wall comes over and intersects round about here. Um, let's see if I can show this in here a little bit better instead of looking in that light. Um, here's our double floor joist, which is on the edge of the opening for the stairwell that goes up. You can see the bottom of it here. So this supports the edge of the stairwell opening out, cut out of the second story. Uh, I am going to take off the ends of those and then I'm gonna to have to pack this with two by fours that come up and stop and support the end of that beam. And the beam will come over to the HVAC. The beam's gonna stop here and there'll be a pair of two by fours that stand under it all the way to the floor and underneath us here is a floor joist for this floor and then the carrying beam for this floor and then a post in the basement so we've got concrete foundation up a post to a carrying beam to a floor joist to the subfloor to our pair of two by fours da -da -da -da, underneath a big heavy beam and all the way same over here two by fours packed in on top of subfloor that has a floor joist underneath it that's on a carrying beam that's on a post roundabout close enough we can be closer or farther away uh, a touch because ultimately there's a little wiggle room there but basically that'll be standing solid from the concrete foundation up to the end of the beam and back down to the solid foundation and we'll just repeat over here i haven't gotten here yet as you can see